our illustrious champion. Cloaked in the mantle of the common explorer, fame set aside in thy pursuit of simple adventure. I am told a new expedition is in the offing. He left to attend to some personal errand, but should be returning ere long. You've been keeping yourself busy, I trust? True to our plan, Thancred and I embarked upon a pilgrimage of sorts, with an eye for gauging the state of those lands through which we passed. Travels were interrupted, however, by a request for aid from our deferred lunar allies. As you may recall, the Loperets have been seeking new purpose for the moon, another role through which it might serve to benefit mankind. The Forum hath been working to advise them in this endeavor, but I return to offer mine own counsel. And this has what to do with treasure vaults, exactly? Ah, you have learned of my predicament from Mistress Kryl. I know not whence they acquired such knowledge, but the Loperets now stand convinced that adventurers delight in treasure hunts. Thus, with their newly built wonderland of riches and mystery, do they hope to entice all manner of daring delvers to the moon. So earnest and innocent was their desire to bring joy to the world that I found myself powerless to refuse them my cooperation. But what of you, my friends? Why are you come to Labyrinthos? Fascinating. This is indeed a most fortuitous opportunity. I should be honored to accept thine invitation. How long hath it been, I wonder, when last our actions were not impelled by fate or desperation? Aye, though I cherish the Scion's accomplishments, tis pleasant to not have the weight of the world upon our shoulders for a change. Counting Istinian, we number five now, yes? Without knowing what traps or perils await unwary feet, we may be wise to refrain from recruiting others. I agree. Between us, we should have the skills to handle whatever situation may arise. Shall we be on our way? What, no time to spare a word for the grizzled old bard? All is well, I trust. A wasted trip, I'm afraid. I'd hoped to catch up with a former mentor while you parleyed with the rabbits, but it seems our paths were not to cross. That's because we didn't travel by experimental etherite. It's astounding what a lack of nausea does for one's sense of well-being. In any case, as we made our way around Ilzabad, we saw that much of the continent was in various stages of chaos. A certain amount of disorder is to be expected. The final days are over, and the people no longer have a common threat binding them together. That's the thing with these fledgling troubles, eh? You need to keep an eye out, lest they mature into full-grown headaches. So, for what reason have so many esteemed personages seem fit to gather?
Beneath the waters of the bounty, you say? I see you've already stolen away my traveling partner with the promise of unexplored ruins and scholarly glory. Nay, it is not for mine own indulgence, but rather the fulfillment of my commitment to the Loperates. Ah, of course. And if you have a Stinian rounding out your group, you'll likely have all the members you need. Feeling left out? I could put in a good word for you, if you like. We may have been released from our obligations, but I'll never be free of that merciless wit of yours, will I? In all seriousness, it is best I sit this one out. Too many former scions consorting with one another might be seen as a cause for concern in certain quarters. I'll return to my usual reconnaissance and scout out the situation in the Far East. Feel free to share if you come across any interesting revelations. Till we meet again. Shall we also hasten our departure? Sir Estinian will wonder what hath become of us.